Judge Philip Brown will continue to preside over the death penalty case against Stephen McDaniel. Today, visiting Judge Ronnie Lane dismissed a motion filed by the Bibb County District Attorney's Office that raised questions about whether the right judge was on the case. 41 NBC's Brittany Gonzalez joins us with more. Judge Lane described the district attorney's motion as something he's never seen before, having the state ask the court system to review a judge assigned to a case not because they thought he was unfit. It isn't a question of qualifications. We have no reason to believe that Judge, Bry judge Brown should not get this case. We don't believe he should be recused. He's not biased in any way. Um, he shouldn't be disqualified. He doesn't have some connection to the case. Um, we have no belief, and I have no belief, no reason to believe that he's biased in any way. But by law is the right person sitting on the bench. The district attorney's office raised concerns over three death penalty cases, including the high profile case against 26 year old Stephen McDaniel, charged with brutally murdering his neighbor, Lauren Giddings. Judge Ronnie Lane didn't hear from witnesses, just quick statements from both parties. The defense called Friday's hearing unnecessary, but the DA's office says they want to avoid any room for error in each of their capital cases. One good thing today is we heard the defense didn't object um, to how the ruling is now, so that's on the record and we can move forward. Winters tells me he'll wait to see the order filed by Judge Lane in this case and the other two cases he's filed a similar motion in before he decides if he'll file an appeal. Reporting in Bibb County, Brittany Gonzalez, 41. NBC News.